The Late Show with David Letterman. It is an American institution, but appearing on it is not without risk, especially for a serving prime minister nervous about being ambushed. Do you, do you mind if I ask you a lot of uh, dumb American questions? Far away. <laughs> With that sinking feeling, um, the Prime Minister was facing an improvised quiz on British history. You know, the first question was on Rule Britannia. World. Who, who wrote that? Do you know? Um, um, you're, you're testing me there. Um, <laughs> Elgar, I'll go for. Okay. Edward Elgar? Uh, I reckon, but uh, we'll, we can check it. <laughs> and he did, and it wasn't Elgar. Rule Britannia, which is a, a, a beautiful refrain, uh, based on a poem by James Thompson. Are you familiar with James Thompson? Well, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was looking just a touch worried. Now, when was the Magna Carta signed? <laughs> the Magna Carta signed in 1215. 1215. Yeah. Now, uh, I've been to... On an island in the Thames. Island in the Thames. And, and the literal translation is, was what? You have Magna... I, I, again, you're testing me. Mm -hmm. um, Boy, it'd be good if you knew be. this. Yeah, well, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Magna that. Carta uh, literally means Great Charter. Charter. The Great yeah. Charter. And as we sense. pointed out... This was always something of a public relations gamble for David Letterman is in the embarrassment business. But as seen from America, this may not have been the disaster that Downing Street fears. For a forgiving audience gave Cameron rave reviews. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give him a 10. He did excellent. He's a charmer. If you had to rank him 1 to 10, where would you put him? Uh, I thought he was a 10. A 10? Yeah, I enjoyed his performance. So perhaps his own judgment was a bit harsh. But, uh, I've, I've ended but you my do, career on your show you tonight. Do know but it may be that Britain got a hearing in parts of America not often reached. Robert Moore, ITV News, New York.